This episode of Ruby Volume 2 is sponsored, is brought to you by The Flaming Shark. Because it's The Flaming Shark's video. Who else would be the sponsor but The Flaming Shark? Hey guys, Flaming Shark back with another video, and as you can tell by this title, I am starting Volume 2 of Ruby. Now, I do want to get this out of the way. I really hate it when people are like, oh, do Season 2 of Adventure Time, do Volume 2 of Ruby, do Season 3 of Ben 10. I hate that. It makes me not want to do the show when you guys are all like, oh, do it, do we have to do it now, you know? And, you know, it's hard for me to do videos even remotely close to daily, so you guys should just try to be grateful for what I do put out because... You know, there's way better YouTubers you can watch to pass the time. Don't be so... Just don't bug me about getting to anything. If I'm late on, like, an MLP episode, which is something that I'm doing weekly because, obviously, you know, like, it, I'm caught up to the show, then bug me and say, or at least just message me or something and say, Hey, Shark, you know? Or you can get the episode up soon, but don't give me this crap like I want you should really start season 3 of Ben 10 now Or you should really start volume 2 of Ruby now or Adventure Time, you know, I, I really hate that crap Now I'm doing Ruby for one reason only Volume 3 of Ruby Is on the horizon and I want to finish volume 2 before we get to volume 3 so I can react to Ruby the same way I'm reacting to MLP where I, you know, from whenever an episode comes out I react to it, you know, and you guys can kind of more or less experience the ride with me, you know, you, you watch the episode and then go on YouTube, it's like, oh, Flamin' Shark's watched it, I'm gonna watch it with Flamin' Shark, I love this episode, I hope he loves it too, that type of thing, instead of the, oh man, these are good memories, this is a good excuse for me to watch it again, that type of thing. This is the Volume 2 premiere, and apparently they went from volume episodes to volume chapters, which I think the others are supposed to be chapters anyways, but whatever. This, oh, excuse me, this is called Best Day Ever. Um, I think, hmm, it's going to be a fun episode, there's not going to be any seriousness in it, it's just going to be silly. Can't really make much of a prediction though. I don't really know what to expect. I guess, um. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be some fun with Team Ruby and probably Team Juniper too, and yeah. Also, I have heard the first, like, four lines of the Volume 2 theme, but I've not heard the Volume 2 theme. So whenever that comes up, that will be a blind reaction. But I have listened to like the first few seconds of it, so I have a sync point, so that when it comes up I can be like, you know. Right now I can't think of it, but the second it starts playing I'll be able to recognize it. Anywho. This is Ruby Volume 2, boys and girls, and uh, ladies and gentlemen, and those who uh, aren't decided yet. A little loquacious reference there. Let's get the second season of Ruby started. Ruby, Volume 2, Chapter 1, Best Day Ever, will commence in 3, 2, 1. Play. Ooh, a little Rooster Teeth promotion. That's all what I'm all about. Oh boy, Season 2. I've heard the animation's better in Season 2. I've heard Season 2's better, but I've actually started to hear some people who really like Season 1. Oh, it's that shop that we started the show on. How appropriate. And the old... Aww. Excuse Silly old me. Man. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Here. You're very anime-like dressed. Am I pointing me in the direction of the shop? That was not even a word. Mm-hmm. Oh, we have another guy I don't recognize. Wait, wait, are these the three people from the end of season one? The evil Mercury, ones, or... I will seriously pay you to shut Mercury, up. Eh? That's not your money. But it could be yours for five minutes of silence. Oh. Mm, no deal. Dang. Fine. Whatever. You want me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
this is certainly an interesting start. And I know it's you know the background characters are animated instead of just it's shadows. A, farther. a few blocks. Oh, this place is so dull. Meh, I kind of like it. Tall buildings, diverse culture, and nice dopey people who are easy to pickpocket. That's wow. City. Ooh, Emerald. Nice. Mr. Thief. Please don't take my money. I barely have enough to get by. Mm. Oh wow. Okay. These two are weird. I'm assuming they're Fire Chick's best buds, like the two that. But I'm probably wrong. I noticed she has like some sort of uh, revolvers on her back, so that should be interesting. That was an interesting voice. Welcome to Tuxin's Book Trade, home to every book under the sun. Okay. How may, uh, how may I help you? I just like, how may, how may I help Actually, you? I was wondering, do you have any copies of The Thief and the Butcher? Yes, we do. That's great. Would you like a copy? No, just wondering. Oh, oh, what about Violet's Garden in paperback? He's got it. Hardback, too. Ooh, options are nice. Eh, no pictures. Hey, do you have any comics? Near the front. Oh, no, wait. What about Third Crusade? Oh? Um, I don't believe we carry that one. Oh. What was this place called again? Tuxin's Book Trade. And you're Tuxin? That's right. So then I take it that you're the one who came up with the catchphrase. Yes. Yes. And what was it again? <sighs> every book Tuxin's under the book sun. Book trade, home to every book under the sun. Except oh, snap. the Third Crusade. It's just a catchphrase. It's false advertising. You shouldn't make a promise you can't keep, Tuxin. I hear you're planning on leaving. Moving all the way to Vacuo. What? And the White Fang wouldn't be happy to hear that. Am whoa. And where are we? Oh shit! You this got real. Yes. And you know why we're here? Yes. So, are you going to fight back? Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're gonna get oh, oh, eat that sweet chip music to the jaw, baby. Super kick. Shawn Michaels style right there. That What's was that? easy. Huh? Hey, I like you got a comic. <laughs> cool. Wow, these are cool drawings. Oh, there's a rose. Is this Ruby? That's oh, Blake. What you doing? And Yang. Nothing. Just going over notes from last semester. Blame. <laughs> Uh, Blake and Yang are too easy to ship. I know it won't happen, but I'm sure everybody Sisters, ships those two. Friends. Ruby and Weiss is a little Weiss. more. What? Our score in seven minutes ago, I <laughs> what? Had a dream She's Abe Lincoln now. And she's Abe Lincoln and MLK. Mm. A dream that one day the four of us would come together as a team and have the most fun anyone has ever had. Ever! Did you still Damn. I am not a crook. What are you oh, talking about? okay. I'm talking about kicking off the semester with a bang. I always kick my semesters off with sure. a bang. Sure. With okay. a yang. Guys? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Aw. Hey guys, it's been a good two weeks, and between more exchange students arriving and the tournament at the end of the year, oh, our I can't wait for that semester tournament. is going to be great. But classes start back up tomorrow. So half a year is what. I've taken the time half to a, a series of school year is what. Past in season proud one. Or scared of what you have in store. Probably both. Oh damn, mm. that was aggressive. I think I might sit this one out. Sit out or not, I think however we spend this last day, we should do it as a team. I for one think that. Oh shit! You did not just Man, that's do hard. that. So then we were fighting side by side, and she was super fast, and I threw a banana at a guy, which sounds gross, but it was awesome. Nice, right? Oh, okay, is, another new character. <laughs> but that's a secret, okay? Got it. And not a, I'm gonna go tell Scarlet the second son turns his back secret. I'm talking secret, secret. Oh, okay. Okay. Up, man, okay? I got it. I got it. You better. I just don't want to screw this up, you know? The people here are the coolest. 
No offense to you guys. <laughs> nice. Okay, they're just in here. I'm really excited for you to meet them. So they, be cool. They're going to be having like some be giant cool, food right? fight. I can tell Dude. inside. Yeah, he's pretty cool. Good point. Yeah, I think there you go. <laughs> of course it's Nora. Oh my god. What utter satisfaction I saw that. What on earth? What is this? What? Why? What is going on? This what is going on? Yeah, oh yay, what? 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 I I have no there are no words. There are no words to explain what I'm watching right now. Oh, that teamwork dog, oh, she's grabbed the bread. Oh, Yang's doing her dual wield with bread, and oh, Pyrrha's got her bread spear. Oh, what is this? <laughs> well, I guess now we'll know who win a fight between Team Juniper and Team Ruby. Wait, is this a piano of red? Oh, I was saying I was like, what? Oh, damn, no, not Yang. Oh, Ruby, oh my god, I don't even know what... Damn! What a unique way to start a season, right? Here comes Nora and Ren. Oh, that catch-up power, though. Weiss going in, but I don't know how you're going to stop Nora. She's a beast. Dang! Oh, into the watermelon. And the big throw, and Ruby saved Weiss! Oh, shit! Oh, damn, the swordfish is real! Oh, I get it. It's like a hammer with the watermelon. Oh, wow. This is really funny how they're using their weapons without using their weapons. Oh, what? <laughs> Excuse me? Say what? Oh, well, I guess now we have to ship Ruby and Weiss. Oh, Yang versus Ren. This should be interesting. Oh. Oh, damn. Here we go. Turkeys versus <laughs> celery. Very long celery. Or stocks, or whatever they are, but they're long as heck. Oh, damn, that turkey punch is legit. Yang getting it in there. Oh, and here comes Nora with her watermelon hammer. And. Oh, Yang got Shrek, but oh, wait, Blake. Forgot about Blake. Oh, she's got a sausage chain whip thing. What is. What is this? I'm sorry, but what am I watching? I think they're just trying to show off the their new budget worth of animation. Oh, here's Pyrrha. Oh, oh, that's not fair. She's using her ma freaking magnetism crap. Damn, that's badass as hell, though. Oh, there's a Red Light Roses remix. Whoa! Oh, oh, oh. Ruby getting it in though. Damn! I like how John did nothing this entire food fight. Damn, Ruby, that was badass as hell. Well, I guess now we know why you're the leader. <laughs> Oh shit, she's upset. Oh damn, is she really gonna fix everything just like that? Damn. That... Please. It's a freaking wand whip thing. Food. <laughs> That's a comment. Let it go. They're supposed to be the defenders of the world. And they will be. <laughs> but right now, they're still children. So why not let them play the part? Hmm. That's cute. After all, it isn't a role they'll have forever. Wow, that's something else. That one got me, gave me chills. Well, we're back to these two and the White Fang. Are we gonna get to see Fire Chick too? White Fang's planning something. Oh, oh there's no. him. She sent the kids again. This is turning out just like the divorce. 
Ooh. Wait, what? Is this the thought of you procreating? That was a joke. And this... <laughs> Thank God. Just might. Tell me where you two have been all day. What? <sighs> I'm a professional, sweetheart. Pay attention. Maybe you'll learn something. Why do you have this address? Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. Now, where have you been all day? Cleaning up your problems. One of them, at least. I had that under control. Two packed bags and a ticket out of bail said otherwise. Listen oh, to shit. Punk. If it were up to me, I would take you and your little street rat friend here, and I would... Oh. Okay, his name's Roman, and there's our flame chick. <laughs> I'd, uh... Not kill them? Cinder! I thought I made Cinder. it clear okay. that I to eliminate the would-be runaway. I was going to... He was going to escape to Vacuo. Mercury and I decided to take it upon ourselves to kill the rat. I think he was some sort of cat, actually. What? Like a puma? Yeah, there you go. Quiet. Huh. Did I not specifically instruct you two to keep your hands clean while in the He's like, I just yeah. Don't think. Obey. <laughs> oh, yes, Roman, I love you. It won't happen again. And you. <laughs> Why wasn't this job done sooner? Uh, huh? Uh, Damn! Uh, sorry if I've been a little busy stealing every speck of dust in the kingdom. You're an inspiration to every punk with a gun and a ski mask. Look around, kid. I've got this town. Damn. I'm scared. Please camping out at every corner, dust prices through the roof, and... We're sitting pretty in an old warehouse with more dust crystals, vials, and rounds than we know what to do with. Speaking of which, if you guys wouldn't mind filling me in on your Grandmaster plan, it might actually make my next string of robberies go a little smoother. Oh, Roman, have a little faith. You'll know what you need when you need to know it. My camera cut off, and I only saw like a couple seconds, so I'm just going to get right back into it. And I'm actually, instead of saying play, I'm going to name the time. 1740. Besides, we're done with dust. Okay, then what now? We're moving. Yeah. Have the White Fang clear out this building. I'll send you details and coordinates tonight. Coordinates? We're proceeding to phase two. Phase two, apparently. Ah, she got back at you. Nice. There's a point where it tips, there's a point where it breaks, there's a point where it bends, and a point where we just can't take anymore. Okay, that's all I know. Shit. You guys have no idea how fast I'm going to be to make sure I listen to the crap out of that song. That was legit. That was so legit, that song at the end. But Oh man, that episode was legit too. That boot fight was real. And we got some setup for what's going on. We know her name is Cinder. And she's planning something. Her voice is very interesting. Um... It works, that's for sure. Um, 
Oh man, I am hyped now. Oh, that was good. That song is good. Oh man, that song is probably better than the season one song, but I want to hear the full song before I judge it. Oh yeah. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I enjoyed it, that's for sure. And, uh, yeah, Volume 2 of Ruby. Also, by the way, if you notice that part where it's like, we, you know, we can't just wait with lives at stake and, like, our enemies are gathering and, like, they have to do something. Which is interesting considering what Ozpin said about how they're kids and, you know, they need this, give them this time to be kids because they won't be kids forever. It sounds like this season is that time. Like, it seems like this very season, you know, because the part where it's like, say goodbye to the innocence of youth and all that stuff, and, you know, it's time to say goodbye to the innocence of youth and whatever, it sounds like, you know, they're going to have to grow up and they're going to have to do this shit. And then the, the intro video also, way better than the season one. It looks hype. This is hype. I am excited. I am ready. My body is ready. And I can't wait to see what comes out of um, this show. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and had a great time watching me enjoy it as well. Uh, not much else to say. I'm just going to wrap it up right here. Flaming Shark signing out. Hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next time with another video. Thanks for watching.